Look, its mouth moves. I know that most of you probably know this, but, you know, for those of you who don't, you know, it's a bit, I'm just being silly. I've had a bit of a bad day, so I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to have some fun before having some real fun. It's eternity in there, mate. I won't test the other two. Come on. Really, you're going to do an error on me? There we go. Okay, so its mouth does move. Very strangely. <laughs> People say this is the cutest avatar I have. Well, at least in the eyes, I can agree. Alright, my friend's waiting for me. Enough, enough bullying around. Just uh, had a bit of a bad day, so I uh, kind of like you the other day. I wanted to, you know, when you wanted to play VR chat after that bad day you had, um, I'm kind of the same. I've burnt, I've burnt, I've burnt things in the microwave too. I'm a terrible cook. In fact, uh, well, in fact Dad was like, Dad was like, oh come on, let's let's cook today, and uh, and uh, I managed to do it just, but then the dog ate everything we cooked. Uh, medic, medic, medic. <laughs> you are such a bad <laughs> doctor. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you ready to play with me on bowling? Yep. Provided it doesn't crash on us this time. I prefer. Yeah, I prefer everything uh, over there. Just okay. uh, let's start. Uh, okay. I'm gonna turn on the bumpers. Uh, you have to press this console uh, to signal on in. Uh, Perfect. Let's start. Uh -huh. okay. You see everything? Yeah, uh, yep. Okay, perfect. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna do a little report because there is a YouTube here. You can put some music or video. Now it's supposed to loading. Ah, you see the video? Hmm, I see it. Yes, I see it. Ah, perfect. Okay, okay, let's play. Not bad! <laughs> Not bad! <laughs>
Thunder Strike 2 controller. <clears throat> nice. Mm, ah, believe me, Ectomorph was crazy with his thing. The amount of Feather had to help me out. Well, that's definitely a loss there. Mm, maybe not, maybe not. Mm, not bad. For the spare? No, okay. Pretty sad, darn it. No, spares when you knock them down, just know you're not right. If that's not a middle finger, I don't know what is. Oh well, my daughter. I throw the ball like, uh, I don't know, a basketball. <laughs> No. Well, for me, I just started to play poker one time, but I chose to not play with real money, just a fake money, just a little uh, play like uh, normal cards and not uh, nothing more. I'm I'm a normie. I only play solitaire. Oh, there it is. And ah, there it is. Think if the pin is become X mat, and you throw the ball on X mat. <laughs> <laughs> It's a grenade! Kaboom indeed! Go to hell and take your cheap sugar juice with you. As if I would get blood on a $3,000 suit. That's from Pyro Paints, which is an, a now a classic SFM. Oh, it's a G mod. It's a G mod. Oh, there you go, Mike. Uh, we think that's yeah, uh, I don't want to lose my head. So, oh, what was it? Um, this is from Overspike sixty nine. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, no, I don't recognize that. It was um, they got the the voice actor to. Oh, uh, I can't. Remember. I think was it? I think it was by the Winglet, and they got the voice actor for the spy <laughs> to do. Uh, to redub the whole thing. 
Yes, I remember the sniper that put you with the voice from uh, Dota. I remember the future art. The future. I think it was like about a pro spy or something. He's like, this spy! Yes! Oh. This spy! Uh, oh man! Uh, okay, I, the ball is, is back to me. It's a magic. Oh wow, it's over here, too. Am I famous? Ah, it's still my turn. Wait, where is the ball? Ah, oh, I can't reach. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna use another board. 47. Now I can become Baldi now. <laughs> oh, dear God. 47. 42 is Maybe the meaning of life. As the ball hit the pins, the grinder hit, so it just sounded like I ground the pins down. Oh, I love this bit. I go full on murder mode. I'm like, how do I destroy everything? So I wait. So I wait. And then I. I watch his motion beam. And then. I remember a parody on YouTube. <laughs> uh, a parody on YouTube about bullying. The funny part, it was a heavy the previous uh, team of bullying. And I got the video. Oh dear, this part was a nightmare about those explosions. <laughs> Thinking about uh, if you try to kill the slug when you you are in the right uh, position and spot the slug up here, they kill you. Immediately there. What was it? It was, um. Qui bello? Yes, yeah. Qui bello? Slap! I think that I hate so much is the gas. Yeah, I think that I hate so much is the gas. Because uh, Ectomod they put a lot of gas. I don't know why. But, uh, well, I don't know if I have any questions about this. As if this room wasn't hard enough to complete on its own. I remember when you tried to do your speed run through here, how hard it was. Mm -hmm. Just on the original Exodus, not the mod. Oh, you lucky duck! You know oh, you. Oh, no. You know what? Maybe the next video aspect on the chapter. Maybe you remember that guy who commented on me about uh, your friend supposed to do a speedrun. Yeah. I have a good idea. My next uh, is uh, I'm gonna play Odyssey in blind. So I, I can't see the game, but I need a help by a guy to guide me, for example, put another step to move, prepare to jump or uh, start to chant. Like a, a, some kind of gameplay when I'm blind, like I can't see the game. I mean, it'll work, but you need. But the thing is, people might not believe that it's real. Like, there have been so many fakes around, so it's like, hmm. Like, I'm not gonna ask you to put a face camera or anything, but I don't know how, how people would know that you are blind while playing. I still can put the spy mask and a blind on my hive, maybe. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Can I at least get a spare? Knowing my luck today, I'll probably end up getting thin air. That's what they said to me a few hours ago. Hey, look, that's my luck today. Nice. Still can't believe. My turn now. Play. I draw a card. No, wait. We don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! 
I play the seal of Bolri Calcos. Oh no, not that card again. But I can cheat. I can cheat with my dead ring when I lose. <laughs> I just cheat one time, I do not cheat again. Man, the VFX on this is gonna be insane. On the previous recording when you left, um, I showed Wolf a lot of Secret of the Uncanny, so basically it was just me saying, Hey, it was look! Just me. Hey, look! I'm, I'm on YouTube, Wolf. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I must saved it a little bit. I mean, who hasn't done this, right? Who hasn't done that? Sometimes it is a virtual bowling that you can throw a, a ball. If you make a strike, you can do it a bonus room, and if you throw the ball in the bonus room, you can win uh, some points, and with these points, you can buy some uh, reward. For me, I buy a lot of uh, everything, uh, a lot of uh, price, like. Uh, uh, some Harley Quinn and a board game uh, called Jewel Paste. Oh, good, now I don't have to strain my neck. <laughs> More! Do it! Do it! Follow! See how I do with taller hands. Reasonable. Maybe you can you can try to beat my Oh my god, the gas that part is a nightmare if there is not dangerous uh, move for the Mudaken. If you don't close in at the Mudaken, those dumps they go into into the wall and uh, fall down and you can't uh, save them. I mean does that count? Magic ball! <laughs> I give you advice. If you take the bowling ball, you take it in with your hand, and if you wanna throw the bowling ball, uh, press the right mouse, put the take, put the press a loot of, uh, take the ball in the left mouse, and then take a look at the item with the right, and the and uh, relate the button uh, in the right uh, to throw the ball. I think the game is bugged. Yeah. Pick up another ball here. You can choose here the balls. First, first I take the ball in my hand first. And then, if I take along with the right uh, button and I release, look at the ball what he can do. I can throw very distance at the ball. Does that go? There we go. It's unbugged.
Like I said, first <laughs> I throw. <laughs> Is your, is your tool, I think. Uh, because the calculator will not give any green point. Here, take it. Is that it? Okay. Oh, now it works, yeah. If you wanna shoot, I can shoot a coriando <laughs> like a party. Not a surprise. Getting flashbacks to Jedi Academy multiplayer. Red and blue lights remind me of old uh, multiplayer games. Yes, your bullying ball. Damn it, yeah. Gonna make him invisible. Maybe you can get this. That you spared that paramite. Maybe you can kill him if you possess him first the paramite. 
Rote lever, possessing the slick, and then uh, shoot the critters with the slick. Uh, oh yeah. Kill the paramite. Oh yeah. Uh, honestly. Uh, now I understand because they don't work uh, the bullet. Because uh, if I pick up the ball, uh, they can't. Uh, you throw my ball, so you have to pick up a ball, and maybe you can fix the, these things. Uh, I think. Uh, kind of scammer, not a friend. Why they call us a, a scammer? Okay, good luck. Okay. Yes, paramite, logs, and spread blow up. Wow, you pass me. It's time to blow up, not the sluggy. <laughs> it's still your turn, uh, GP. Mm. <laughs> that, that wasn't my slig, that was the enemy one. Yes, because the slug they attack uh, any creature. Like a uh, slug they attack a blue cone, a traveling slug, and flying slug. Congratulations, you won! Dang, that's the first time I've won a bowling in years. First time I've yes, congratulations. Let's go another game. Sure. I don't know, maybe. Um, Billiard. Uh, wait, let's cut that game. Have you played billiard? No. Oh uh, yeah. Oh billiards, yes. Yes, that one. There is on your chat uh, billiards. Let's, let me put it the uh, teleport. Welcome back. Hello. In, over there, there is the rules of the game. Check the rules first. If you can't e understand the rules, you can change the language. Hmm. So, you ready? Yep. Good luck. If you become the, 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 the runner, if you become the runner, you have to run uh, uh, from me. If you become the hunter, you have to chase me. Like uh, get chased by the scrap or paramite. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm the slig. Yep. Let's start. <laughs> One day I'll be X Mud. Uh, of course. I have no other teammates. There you are! Hi.
and dead. No! No! No, 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 no! Hey, uh, you won. Nice run, Minga. I thought I was gonna get got by the time you got that, by the time we hit those lasers. Yeah, so if you get to hit by those lasers, you're gonna become slow. You and me, hunter or runner. Well, wanna try again, or yep. you wanna play Killer Knight? Let's keep going. All right. Uh, don't you, don't you, do you have uh, aid model? Uh, no. Let me give you aid. Yeah. If maybe one of you two we become a runner, so you know. Hmm. Hi. Okay, let's start again. I should take the next run and you are become the hunter, I think. Waiting for that. I'm gonna give you a look of the sleek and uh, or like I say in the card sleek boss uh sleek button. I'll give you a look of sleek button when I catch you. There we go. <laughs> you get the couch. It's one for one, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Out around? Yeah. Alright. Good luck. Mm-hmm. I know, right? I should have said block any. <laughs> no, I didn't hear that. God damn it. Let's try again. Mm -hmm. Must be lagging. Oh well. Must be lag yes, uh, maybe let's go to play Killer Knight, maybe. Let's save this game for another future. It's good fun. Good to test it. Good to test it? Yeah. Hey, did you recording? Just a question. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I can stop if you want me to. Okay. I can stop it. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Let's here another portal. And this time I won't screw it up. I don't understand why I'm basically do such things. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> Wait, where is the emoji? Ah oh, no, there is no emoji. That's sad. It's a lot longer than you think. Here's a rabbit. Oh. Ready? 
I hate chainsaws. Stop. Who's gonna become the serial killer? You or me? No, oh, I think we all know it's you. Immediately turns red. Come on.
Nice, man. Come on. It's like, oh. Come on. I have no defense. Come on, slice me. <laughs> oh, jeez. I actually managed to stall him. How did I manage to stall him?
who thought this was a good idea? That's the point of the game. But I cannot get into this. Come on, man. You got like a million traps. No, oh, insane he sounds. Although I expected it to be uh, to be uh, to be to have got me by now. Although I tell you what, these these puzzles, I can't get into them. I don't want to disparage the game creator though, or discourage I should say. And they did they did a darn good job. I just don't like long puzzles. You can't jump? Wow. That's pathetic. Okay, that was unfair. That was genuinely unfair. I'm sorry. And the lockpick is awful in this too. Maybe I just don't get it. You know what? Let's put it down to me just not getting it. Because I'm apparently a little bit dumb. Move! This person must have a lot of bad legs. A lot of bad legs. Get it right, JP. I just don't get it. I think that's it. I think it's just me. I don't get it. The person who made it is great at making games and it works well in VR. So it's just me. I don't get it. And that's that. Uh, as bad a day as I've had. Can't say I've had as bad a day as this person's having. Oh well. 
even if it has its faults, at least it's not as broken as the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game. Now that one is broken. When you see it and you just don't give two darns about it. Just open the blooming gate! Are you kidding me? Just open! What the heck? That was weird. You know, you can hide behind the house when you fix the generator. That I forgot to tell you this one. Ah. <laughs> Look what you do with those cross, you owe to me! <laughs> yeah, freeze you multiple times! Okay, now I hope you can become the killer. Probably not, knowing my luck. We will see. If I become again the killer, I respawn and I give you this tool for you. <laughs> Ah, uh, good. Oopsie. Best weapon in the game, mate. And door open. Let's begin. Wait, no, it's the door. It's the door, JP. It's the door. Where else was it going to be? <sighs> I don't want to be disparaging toward this. I apologize. Sometimes I, I don't know. I think I just think that the generator puzzle lasts a little too long. That's all. I think the door puzzle be. I don't know. Like I said, I probably just don't get it. the last time. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
that's what I thought this was. For some reason I get this mode a little more than victim mode. I wonder why that is. Vantage point. If I turn to a wolf, do I turn? If I turn to a wolf, does that mean I could howl at the moon? That's a silly question. Why I'm asking this. Some people are gonna think I'm a furry next. I could ask once if I'm a fairy, which I am not. I just love the wolf model. Lucky there. He got really lucky. Oh, I need to get this chair oiled. So squeaky. He's gonna have full health now. And I forgot how much health the they have, the victims have. Just stand there for a while. I can't believe I actually managed it. <laughs> I can't believe I managed that. I can't believe I managed that. So, what movie you Hmm. Uh, what time is it? It's... Hmm. Well, it's, uh, um... If you've still got some more time, I don't know, can Uno be played with two people? Uh, the amount of... Uh, it's winter here, and you, the sight of an open fire like this is just so tantalizing. It's like 8 degrees Celsius outside. Mm. Yeah, oh, I am starting to like the game. I know, it, I know it's taking me a while to warm up to it, no pun intended, but I... I do like a lot of what it's going for. It's just uh, that generator puzzle. I know it's supposed to be tough, but I think it's just a little, a little too long. There's just a couple of things that I think could have. It's an indie game. I can't really complain about. You know what? I want to stay away from the edge. Wait. So you're telling me I'm not supposed to come out here? And this is supposed to be set dressing. Did I just exploit a glitch while like while saying I Oh boy <laughs> I just exploited a glitch. Okay. Alright, well if I'm not a Yep, let's do it. There's a lot of glitches in the um, in this part of the world. If you actually you can walk, <laughs> you can walk or you can walk outside the level bounds. Yes, I know. 
Let's do our thought. Uh, JP was asking. What are you doing? Three, two, one, and. Okay, Don, I sent you the photo. Okay. See you later, JP. Have a good one. You Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye bye. Like I said, guys, I'm. Um, I know some of the avatars I have may look a bit, eh, but I know some people who have anime avatars and have never and pro and have probably never watched an uh, an episode of anime in their life, or at least aren't one of those people who'd, you know, die for it. Uh, you know, not a diehard one. I honestly like the. Protogen because of the long nose and the floppy ears. I just like things with adorable faces. So, yeah, if you want the honest truth, it's just because I like cute, adorable things. And I know furries, protogens, uh, scaly things have bad reputations, but honestly, for me, it's just about how adorable it is. And I know some people take issue with guys liking cute things, apart from maybe dogs or cats, but, you know, like, oh, it's not manly enough, but I don't care. I don't care. I just, I like cute things, adorable things, and people are going to be like, well, does that make you gay? No. Just means I like adorable things. And I know it sounds like I'm bringing up a lot of random stuff but you know I want to nip this in the bud in case people start getting the wrong idea that's all I was asked oh sorry smash into the mirror I was asked yesterday I think you know after playing some VR are you a furry I said, <laughs> appropriate music pause I said no I just again I just like cute things adorable things the wolf avatar is adorable to me uh, I have four dogs at home and whilst they're very naughty at times in fact one of them ate my lunch today I was gonna I had some of it I was gonna come back for more he, he snuck up when I wasn't looking and he ate all the lunch I was I had thankfully it was all it, was, it wasn't anything that was gonna hurt him but uh, he got less dinner let me tell you and frankly I was you know I know that they are a bit of a pest. In fact, sometimes I go, I, I feel like, you know, just swearing at them because they can be really naughty. I don't, but sometimes they have their moments for sure. But I don't. But I would never actually do that. In fact, even the books you've probably heard me mention that I've decided to write—they're all about cute creatures that look reminiscent of dogs. Um. It's just because, you know, something you want to sort of reach out and give a pat to. You know, just imagine it sort of walking up to you and you want to, like, a, even, even a wild creature. Obviously, don't do this. But, like, a, if even a wild creature that's like a bird in the hand where it'll come up to you, trust you, you give it a pat, maybe a snack, and then it'll off it goes on its way. That's kind of how I think, you know. The most innocent, lukewarm, milk toast thing. So yeah, that's why I have these avatars. And if you don't believe that and you think this is a pack of lies, that's up to you. Um, that's fine. I all I can do is tell the truth. And if people don't believe that, that's on them. You know, I've done my bit. I can't really. I can defend myself, sure, but I don't know. I'm an honest man, and uh, you know, there's the occasional time where I might tell a little fib, like in uh, there's a couple of streams ago where my friend was like, "Did you did you shoot me?" And I said, "No," when I had, you know, that's just fun little banter. But actually, like lying about something, I haven't done that since I was a teenager. So yeah, I don't. I don't like to think, I don't think of it really gets you anywhere. Just today, uh, right before I started streaming, someone, I'm not going to say their name, I'm not going to, you know, put them out like that, 
but this guy was a bit snippy with me and I thought he could have worded that better I just I didn't lie in fact I told the truth I said okay that could have could have been a little less blunt with that but I think you know it's hard it's a very fine line here because you don't want to tell someone to lie because the truth is hard to take but what he said was just too blunt and obviously he should have just t said it a nicer way that's the better way but if but I know he's the kind of person who doesn't really know how to do that that is a hundred percent okay but if he was gonna be that blunt about it maybe I don't know if he couldn't say anything at all so if he if he couldn't say nothing rather if he wanted to say something to me he could have at least I don't want to say lied a little bit it's hard to you can see I'm trying I'm stuttering a bit because I don't quite know how to put it like he kind of was saying you know I basically uh, yeah I, I'm trying to remember what he said sorry you know what I probably don't want to quote it because then he might realize it was, I'm talking about him um, but he basically said you know something a little hurtful he didn't mean to he's a lovely guy but he didn't mean to but he came across as a bit abrupt and I think if he couldn't if he had to say something he could have at least not told everything so that it would have been a little less hurtful um, it was actually about my streams you know so it's hard to explain and if you want to take a, a lesson from my three minute rant it was not even a rant, it's just a ramble at this point. Basically, to set this straight in case I've confused everybody, which I'm almost dead certain I have, um, too much truth can do more damage than a lie, um, depending on what it is, of course. So if you are too blunt with somebody, if you say, oh, like straight up, you're boring I hate your streams but this is not what the second guy said by the way this is, I'm making this up oh you're boring I hate your streams why don't you go you know run off a cliff then that's just hurtful um although that's probably not honesty that's just an insult what's an example of too much honesty um you know what let's stick with the streaming thing uh let's say you say oh your streams are boring um, which is fair, by the way. Um, I don't like them. You know, that's already. I'm. If you were to write, if someone were to write that, I'd be like, okay, I get it. They don't like my strings. That's fine. But then, if they continue after saying that and say, I, um, you know, I never watch these, never gonna be interested, and keep going, then that's too much honesty and it's too hurtful. And all I'm gonna. It's all it's gonna do is end up offending so um, take a lesson from me because uh, I used to be like that I I used to be like that all the time uh, when I was a little kid I would say I would walk up to somebody and they may have had like a growth on their face and said oh you've got that you've got a weird dot on your face and immediately put them on and made them self-conscious I know kids are like that it's not just me but you know I've learned and you know I'm not I'm hardly the emissary of wisdom but there are just some things that people don't know and maybe they're incapable of it and that's fine like they might have autism or something I'm pretty sure you can tell I have autism and if and this guy probably had autism too that's fine him being blunt is never is is not really the issue it's the lack of restraint it's you know if he said half of what he said I would have taken it on board and got it but he had to keep going too much honesty um, and to, I just want to be clear too much honesty is not the same thing as uh, revealing too much when when talking like, I've revealed loads while talking here where I've probably talked about the same point six times and stuttered in that that's an example of just not knowing how to get your points across in a timely manner I've been going for like eight minutes now but and it's just been me staring in this mirror trying to get a good shot with the rule of thirds because yes I took film school and 
you know, trying to get a shot of the rule of thirds is fun, especially when you have no guides. Watch my guide jitter. There we go. Nice. On the right. Uh, sorry. But it's also part of being a writer, too, knowing when to cut things off. And yes, believe it or not, this is relevant. Um, I like to think of thing of being a writer as also being like part of a conversation where you know when to cut things off. If you keep going, it's padding. And nobody wants to hear you talk about the same thing six times in a row. Yeah, I've done a pretty poor showing of that tonight. That's true. But um, I, I'm not going to name the show because I don't want to bash any writers specifically. But as a writer, I, I don't know him personally, of course, so I don't not like the person. But his writing style, I really don't like. He does... Imagine this conversation in every story, in every minute. No real emotion, just explaining things as they are. It's not a story, it's a PSA at this point. And, you know, whilst I need to work on my conversation skills, I know that this kind of thing um, is, again, too much. Pull it back and you find that things work. They, you start to realise, oh wait, I'm doing the, this wrong. See, there's a pause right there. That that doesn't need to be there. You know, you just there's no emotion. People click off. People just ignore you because, well, by this point, you are boring. The truth of some of the insults starts to come through. That's pretty much it. I, you know, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew where I stand. Literally, uh, where I stand when it comes to, you know, the honesty thing. I'm a very honest person. I've, met, I've learned to reduce my amount of honesty, but not lying in its place. Just, and I don't mean don't tell the whole truth if you can't. Like, sometimes you omit certain details that are important, then that's bad. But if you have unnecessary details or keep pushing a certain narrative, like I have for the last eight minutes, then maybe you need to think about what you're doing. Obviously what I'm doing is relatively harmless. It's just, oh, maybe I could cut out half of this, and I probably will. But what the other guy did was he verbally tapped me on the shoulder and then went ahead to slam me in the face um, with words because he just went too far. So with that said, I, I mean, I already had a pretty bad day, so it wasn't. So maybe it was just that as well. But with that said, thanks for listening. I'm going to probably cut this down a little bit so you're not completely bored. You know, I do. Re I did repeat a lot because I tend to do that, and I really shouldn't. Hey, put conversation skills. Are any of us perfect? So with that said, I'll see you guys next time, whenever that is, and. I'll keep going with my next book. Um, one day they'll be published. I'm obviously, I obviously can't give away details. I, I want to share the ideas, but I can't because then someone might nab them before it's published. Um, but when the first one's out, uh, it's going to be so long before the first one's out because the book publisher I was going for folded. But when it's out, see if I can post an ad on YouTube or something. Not an actual ad, just like a video or something, like a trailer or whatever the publishing company decides. And then if any of you are interested, you can have a look at that. Uh, help me make some money. One last thing about them is that they are very dark. I'm a very dark writer. Um, so whilst I may be happy and joyful on YouTube, my writing is very different from that. And uh, so... Yeah, it's very adult. There's nothing NSFW in that sense, but there are a lot of... Let's just say there's a lot of death. <laughs> so, there's no real bringing life into the world, but there's a lot of ending it in the books. <laughs> uh, but that's just the writer I am. I was once told to write for children, and it did not work, so I've kind of gone the other way. Anyway, I have talked for way too long, and I said goodbye like three minutes ago, so peace.